The story begins, with the Silver Surfer crashing through the roof of Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum. He warns Doctor Strange, that Thanos is coming. Three low-life criminals, accidentally swerve off a cliff, and despite the fact that they should be dead, they climb from the wreckage. Now that Thanos has all of the Infinity Stones, and is more powerful than Mistress Death, she will not speak to him. Mephisto talks to Thanos and convinces him to show off his power. Thanos does so, by showing her his granddaughter Nebula, that Thanos keeps in a place, of barely being alive, and close to death as punishment. Mistress Death is not impressed by this, and Thanos becomes more frustrated. Mephisto then convinces him, to perform a grand act, so Thanos uses the Infinity Gauntlet, and snaps his fingers. Spider-Man witnesses, half of the people in a crowd disappear, and in a panic, he rushes home in fear of Mary Jane vanishing. Captain America is present, when Cersei and Hawkeye disappear from Avengers HQ. Meanwhile, Nick Fury attempts to figure out, why half of the population has disappeared. The Hulk believes that, the Abomination has something to do with everyone disappearing, and Silver Surfer breaks down as he feels like he has failed. The three criminals involved in the crash, end up having one of them disappear, and another appears to be in a cocoon. Doctor Strange is pulled into the astral plane, and visited by a powerful being, the being tells Doctor Strange, that he must band together, as many heroes as he can, and let the powerful being lead them, against Thanos. Doctor Strange is hesitant at first, but then agrees. Eros decides to pay Thanos a visit, as he does not believe, that his brother would get rid of half of the population of the universe. Thanos turns on Eros, and tortures him repeatedly, in various ways alongside Nebula, Doctor Doom, attacks the Silver Surfer and Doctor Strange, but the fight stops when Adam Warlock appears. Doctor Strange quickly realizes, that Adam Warlock was the powerful being with whom he made a deal with. Thanos becomes angry, because Mistress Death won't acknowledge Thanos, so he sends out a powerful blast through space. It destroys, a massive red giant star, that is in its path. By the time that the blast reaches Earth, Galactus who is nearby, estimates that it is only at 2% of its strength. The impact, causes buildings to crumble, and Iron Man watches in horror as the western coast of the United States, falls into the sea. Asgard also crumbles, and is partially destroyed as tsunamis lay cities to waste, all that the Avengers can do, is watch the cataclysm. Adam Warlock and his newly acquired team, are saved by one of Doctor Strange's protection spells. Adam Warlock then begins to plan his next move. Adam Warlock, has Doctor Strange use his magic, to teleport in all of the available heroes that he can. Adam Warlock, then attends a meeting with the cosmic deities, and attempts to get help from them. It doesn't go as well as planned, and Galactus attacks Adam Warlock. Some of the deities refuse to get involved, and some others agree to help. Thanos, is pleased to see a Watcher, which indicates that he is about to be attacked. Adam Warlock approaches the Hulk and Wolverine, and asks if they get the opportunity, they should kill Thanos. They are open to the possibility, and understand that it may need to be done. Getting more and more aggravated with Mistress Death, Thanos creates Taraxia in an attempt to make her jealous, but it does not work. Adam Warlock and his heroes are ready for battle. Doctor Strange casts a spell, that allows them to breathe in the vacuum of space. Silver Surfer is annoyed that he is not fighting alongside the other heroes, as they lead an assault on Thanos. Adam Warlock reveals to the Silver Surfer, that their attack is pointless, and that they are just a diversion. The Silver Surfer realizes, that the heroes are sacrificing their lives, but cannot do anything, now that they have already started their attack. As the heroes attack, Thanos smiles at the attempt, 
as he knows that the heroes are no challenge for himself. Eros watches as Mephisto manages to convince Thanos that the only way to get Mistress Death's attention is to give the heroes a fairer fight. Thanos decides that he will lower his sensory input to give the heroes the smallest chance of winning. The Hulk and Drax get a minor advantage by hitting Thanos from behind, but it is short-lived as Thanos takes control of the fight once again. Thanos gets rid of Neymar and She-Hulk by covering them in some type of mossy growth. Doctor Doom then attempts to steal the gauntlet from Thanos, but Thanos blasts him out of the way. Wolverine manages to get in close and stabs Thanos in the chest, but Thanos turns Wolverine's adamantium bones into rubber. Cyclops' head is then encased into a block, stopping his eye beams from hurting Thanos and killing Cyclops in the process. Vision is then killed, as Thanos rips out his circuits. Cloak tries to swallow Thanos, but he is blown out of existence. Drax and Firelord are teleported to prehistoric times, and Taraxia rips off Iron Man's head. Thor is then turned to glass, Nova tries to save him, but Thanos turns him into tiny cubes, and then smashes Thor to pieces. Quasar then takes on Thanos, but Thanos causes Quasar's quantum bands to explode, leaving him with no hands. Captain America is the last man standing, and fights as best he can. Meanwhile, Adam Warlock tells Silver Surfer that it's the perfect moment to strike, but the Silver Surfer misses his shot. Thanos beats Captain America and takes the win. It's at that point, the cosmic deities decide to step in. The battle between Thanos and the cosmic deities creates havoc across the galaxy. They put up a great fight, but ultimately Thanos is victorious. Thanos is weakened by the fight, and after months of torture, Nebula spots an opportunity and steals the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos. Her first act is to banish Thanos and Taraxia. As they float in space, Taraxia dies. Doctor Strange finds Thanos and teleports him to them. The Silver Surfer attacks Thanos, and Doctor Strange teleports in the only remaining heroes to stop them from fighting. Adam Warlock convinces Thanos to temporarily fight alongside them to stop Nebula. Hulk, Drax, Fire Lord, Doctor Doom, and Thor are the first to attack Nebula, but she stops them with ease. Adam Warlock, Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer, and Thanos confront Nebula. Nebula cannot see Adam Warlock and believes that Thanos is the only threat. As Thanos taunts Nebula, she imprisons him, and with the exception of her holding the Infinity Gauntlet, she returns everything back to how it was 24 hours earlier. Everybody that disappeared or died are returned to where they were when Thanos originally snapped his fingers. Doctor Strange was able to cast a spell that stopped himself Thanos, Silver Surfer, and Adam Warlock from returning back to the day before without the memories of the events that had unfolded. Nebula attacks them, as Adam Warlock tries to take the Infinity Gauntlet. The cosmic deities return, and attack Nebula. She is inexperienced compared to Thanos during his battle with them, and barely handles the fight. Adam Warlock and the Silver Surfer end up inside the Soul Stone. Adam Warlock asks the Silver Surfer to act as his anchor in the Soul Stone, so that Adam Warlock can make his next move. Nebula eventually defeats the Cosmic Deities, but Adam Warlock causes Nebula to drop the Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos attempts to grab the Infinity Gauntlet, but Doctor Strange and some of the heroes teleport back to their location to stop Thanos. They hold him at bay, and Adam Warlock reappears, and claims the Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos refuses to let himself be captured, and activates a nuclear weapon that he has on him. Thor hits him into space and they all watch as he explodes. Nobody is happy that Adam Warlock has become a god, 
but he doesn't care, and sends them home. 60 days later, Adam Warlock is aware that Thanos is alive, and pays him a visit with Gamora and Pip. Adam Warlock lets Thanos live in peace, and they leave him alone. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and press the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell.